Torej priden se lotim, priden preden gotovimo, kako meditirati, je pomembno, da se vprašamo, zakaj bi motivirali, zakaj želimo meditirati. Ta povdarek na motivaciji, to motivacijo povdarjam zato, ker daje moč naši meditaciji. Če nismo prepričani, zakaj bi meditirali, kaj želimo doseči z meditacijo, se držimo določene discipline, ki je potrebna za to, da bi razvili pravilno in vztrajeno meditacijo. Naš um, kar naprej skače od ene misli do druge, v eni sami minuti se naš um ukvarja z veliko različnimi temami. To ovira našo meditacijo, našo sposobnost učenja, dojemanja stvari na bolj jasen način. So, if we have defined within our own minds the reason for which we want to meditate, then it sustains our uh, daily discipline. And that discipline is very important because what we are trying to do through the meditation is to change our mind to modify the old habits of our mind. When usually this mind is jumping from a thought, uh, thoughts to other thoughts, we try uh, to uh, bring it to a better, more concentrated state, <coughs> eventually even thinking in a slightly different, improved way. This requires not just to meditate once upon a time or to spend just five minutes uh, per day, mm -hmm. but to include the mechanism of meditation within our everyday life. Če smo v svojem umu določili razlog, zakaj želimo meditirati, potem nam bo to pomagalo zdrževati vsakodnevno disciplino. In ta disciplina je zelo pomembna, ker želimo spremeniti svoj um, ker z meditacijo želimo spremeniti svoj um, spremeniti svoje navade. Če naš um skače od ene misli k drugi, želimo spremeniti želimo van vnesti več osredotočenosti, zato, da bi kaj izboljšali. Zato pa ni dovolj, če meditiramo samo vsak kjer toliko ali pa pet minut na dan, temveč moramo mehanizem meditacije vnesti v svoje vsakdanje življenje. One of the common mistake is to think that meditation can be practiced only in a very quiet place, sitting on a cushion in the perfect meditation position. Of course, this helps. And at the beginning, it might be nice to set a certain <coughs> habit to meditate within a more peaceful environment and in a good, uh, pacified, physical way. But this is not forever. Meditation can be applied in everyday life, in basically every moment of our life. Doesn't mean that we will meditate 24-7, but it means we can, we could apply meditation whenever we decide to, wherever we decide to. Ena od pogostih napak, ena od pogostih zmot je prepričanje, da lahko meditiramo samo nekje na samem, kjer je tiho, mirno, tako da sedimo na meditacijski blazini v popolnem položaju. Seveda je 
to pomaga. Na začetku je dobro spostaviti določeno navado meditacije v mirnem okolju na dober, umirjen način. Toda to ne velja, toda to ni dokončno, to ne velja za večno meditacijo, lahko uporabimo v vsak danjem življenju, v vsakem trenutku našega življenja. To ne pomeni, da bomo meditirali 24 ur na dan, temveč, da lahko uporabimo meditacijo, kjerkoli smo in kadarkoli se odločimo. Which makes sense, of course, because to be able to meditate in a peaceful environment, it's already a good point, of course, but when do we need the most meditation is when our mind is getting disturbed. When a disturbed emotion are arising, anger or jealousy or any disturbance, these are the right moments we need to be able to apply a correct meditation. And of course, when you are at job, at work, uh, you cannot suddenly sit on the table in the meditation position and stop communication with your boss or your colleague. So, if it is indeed um, beneficial to establish your habit of meditation at home eventually or in a temple or in a nice quiet place, it shall be progressively extended to any moment when you will need to meditate, when you will need to um, pacify your mind. To je seveda logično zaradi tega, ker ker to je seveda logično ker je dobro, da smo sposobni meditirati v mirnem okolju. Toda meditacijo najbolj potrebujemo takrat, ko je naš um vznemirjen, ko se pojavijo vznemirjena čustva, kot so zavist ali jeza. Takrat je pravi trenutek, da uporabimo pravo meditacijo. Seveda, na primer, v službi ne moremo ne nadamo sesti na mizo v meditacijski drži in prenehati komunicirati s svojim šefom ali s sodelavcem. Toda, če smo sposobni meditirati v mirnem okolju, na samem, v templju, potem bomo vse, ki se bo ta meditacija vse bolj širila na vsak trenutek, ko bo ko jo bomo potrebovali, ko bomo morali umiriti svoj um. We have also to understand that our natural state of mind is peace. Naturally, our mind is peaceful. What makes it unpeaceful is our self not controlling the amount of thoughts which are emerging uh, within our consciousness. And this is an important factor because when you try to pacify your mind, you are not trying to invent something or to create something new inside yourself. You are simply trying to pacify the amount of thoughts disturbing that peaceful state in order to come back to its initial state. And that makes a big difference because many people when they start to meditate they are striving to create peace in their mind. They are fighting against themselves like if they would need to undig something 
to plant something new, which is not the case. It is important to find back what we already have inside, this peace, peaceful state of mind.